People think going into the penitentiary takes some sort of massive change and they always, they're dreading it. They're like, they're leaving the streets. They don't understand how they're gonna transform into this mindset that's gonna be able to take 3,000 plus days of torture. When you're entering a 10 year term, you, you can't get yourself mentally ready. This is a slow, you're slowly adjusting, you're slowly acclimating to the, to the, the life you're about to live. So, I mean, the same thing has to take place as you exit the penitentiary. Most I've seen people lash out violently. I've seen them just start to, to withdraw themselves within. I've seen them start to use more drugs. And this all comes from fear. This all comes from the fear and the insecurity of going somewhere that they no longer know. Somewhere that they're not, they're lacking confidence in. And these convicts, these criminals, they're lacking confidence in their ability to stay on the street and be a solid dude. They know they have these vices that consistently land them back in the pen. So that fear and that insecurity makes them do a couple things. Some of them get violent, some of them seek more dope, and some of them just withdraw within and, and they end up locking up and just doing weird shit like that. I've seen all three of those. But I, I've seen motherfuckers mainly just start to use way too much dope and they start catching uh, they start catching dirty test after dirty test after dirty test to where they catch themselves another 180 days or another year. I've seen a fool get caught with a syringe, just a hypodermic needle, and they gave him an extra four years. I mean, so I, sometimes these dudes do it on purpose. They don't want to get out. They fear getting out. But the way we don't fear things in life is we don't go too far ahead into them. We just act. So we just act in the moment. So by staying focused on your program, I'm going to consistently preach about your program, your daily program, because mastering each day is how we win in life. Everybody's getting too far ahead. They don't seem to understand what they're doing. You're trying to solve problems that you don't even know are going to occur. You're, I see people ruin their day. They sit there. They do this. I see people make some shit up in their head. They make it up. They believe that shit. And then they ruin their day about it. The way to avoid this crazy ass shit is to just stay structured. Work on what you can with what you got where you're at. So as I was leaving the penitentiary, as I left, I withdrew my food. I withheld food. I fasted. This is how they've done it since the dawn of time. If you wanted to stay present, you fast. You fucking, you work on extreme amounts of exercise to push yourself and you seek within, you seek solitude, you seek internal growth. From the dawn of time, how did they do it? They, they fasted, they went on long treks and they fucking, they went to caves and shit. So, I mean, this is the 2019 way of staying close to yourself, getting to know yourself and finding your true answers. Your true answers are found in this fashion. You will not find your true answers with distractions. That's why everyone out here is so lost because there's so many distractions and they're not taking time to make their daily process. Your daily process, your daily program will center you. That's what I do on Instagram. That's what I do on here. I use you guys for accountability. I use you guys to tell you the character I wish to have throughout my day. And then since I'm a man of character, since I have integrity, I follow it through. You try that. This is the way it works. But I've seen people just lash out and start starting fights with everybody because they're getting short to the house and they don't want to go. I've seen the massive uses of usages of dope. I've seen motherfuckers take off on cops. They don't want to fucking go. They'll make up an issue and just get caught. Like stupid ass shit. Self-sabotaging behavior that you see out here as well. So, I mean, as you're nearing the gate, as that short timer syndrome ensues, people are always asking, oh, you don't, don't tell people your date because then people will, they'll fuck with you near your date. I've never seen that happen. On higher up yards, people want you to leave. They're proud that you get to leave. And on lower yards, motherfuckers aren't even tripping. Everybody wants to go home. Like nobody's really trying to start drama. The thing is, is that the dudes who get so short and they're all fucked up, now, those are the liabilities. It's very rare. Most people are just smart enough, shut their fucking mouth, and go home. But I've seen definite crazy cases. There's always going to be those bad apples. There's always going to be that dude who needs to make a piece to show his people he's down on the last three months because he really doesn't want to go home because he's really got that bitch in him and he fears leaving. 
One of my homies just got out. He did 13 years. And he fucking, he told me he was getting into this mental state as he was fucking coming home. He was getting more and more violent. And I talked to him about it. I'm like, why? Why is that? He's like, I just felt like there was a lot of disrespect on those lower yards. Because he came down from a 4 to a 3 to a level 2 yard. So he felt like there was a lot of disrespect on those lower yards. Which there is because these people aren't fitting proper protocol of what, what we know is the way to conduct ourselves in the system. So someone like himself, like myself, who conducts himself at a high level of discipline who conducts himself with a high level of respect, they never feel like they get it. So you have to drop that behavior. I still have that behavior in me to where I never feel like I get the respect I should get from people. But then even my business coach tells me, he's like, people don't operate like you. You need to understand that. You're asking stuff from people who just don't move like you. So that this is just the way you got to open your eyes. You got to realize where you stand, where everyone else does, and have respect for both situations. But my boy that just got out, he told me he was at a, a baseball game and there was like three blacks in front of him. One of them like kind of was just disrespecting him, was standing too close to him, and he shoulder checked the dude. And it, his family got pissed as fuck at him because here he is with his family starting a problem like that in public. And they're like, motherfucker, you can't do this shit. You can't be like that out here. It's not like that out here. This is one of the things that people fear as they get out because the structure of prison, the safety of the politics makes a real convict feel safe. He knows that there's certain rules that are abided by no matter what the fuck is going on. And that's just not the case out here. This is the wild west out here. People, there's fucking crybaby, big ass, grown ass bitches out here all day who can't even take the smallest amount of impatience or fucking any bit of adversity in their life and then they pop off at the mouth and then they ain't ready for you to fucking stick that strap in their motherfucking mouth after they run their big motherfucking mouth. And this is a thing you these things have to be dropped. So I mean as we're as we're exiting the facility like I've said withhold your food, exercise harder, stay more in your fucking self growth process and always just just know that this is the key to controlling yourself. If you can control your fucking food, if you can never miss a workout, you'll center yourself more to when, when you step into your growth process, you're in a positive mindset. People don't get this fucking problem that I share all the time. Never fucking try to fix or decipher your life's problems while you're in a negative mindset. But this is what people do all the time. They only think about their problems in a negative mindset because when they're in a positive one, they don't want to think about problems. They want to just sweep them under the rug. But this is the exact time we need to plan to fix our problems when we're in that positive mindset. Why? Why would we do that? Because it's a different perspective. A positive mind has a different perspective than a negative mind. A positive mind sees all the ways it's going to work out. A negative mind sees all the ways it's not going to work out. So make sure you listen to me on this. When you're in a negative mindset, you better fucking know that if you go bust down 150 burpees, if you go on a fucking extensive jog, if you go get your heart rate up crazy, you will flip that attitude. I've never seen it not happen. Every fucking time I leave the gym, whether it's a beginner or an advanced ass motherfucker, they hold the door for someone. They're super polite. Why is that? Because they're in a positive mind state. They have just flipped that fucking normal negative mind state, which most of us live in. I'm inherently negative. I wake up mostly fucking negative. So I run to the gym. I run to the gym because I know myself. I know how to unmake that negative shit, that negative character trait I have. I wake up thinking about my problems. I wake up with a fucking negative attitude. So I, I wish I wasn't like that, but I am. So how did I fix that? I learned to take that, which was once a negative trait, which is waking up negative. I woke up, I, I made myself flip that into a positive by saying, I know this about me. So I'm going to use this inherent negativity to just run into something positive. So in all reality, something that was once massively negative, I turned into one of the biggest assets of my life, which is my wake up time. My dedication to training, my dedication to nutrition, which in turn turns into self-love because the only fucking definition of true self-love is self-investment. That you're good enough, smart enough, and doggone it, people like you shit that you're supposed to say in the mirror and believe is fucking bullshit. The only thing we believe is action. Vision plus action 
is what will change your motherfucking life. Let's get after that shit.